Greetings and blessings. Welcome to Fasting Growth Devotional. My name is Pastor Luis Vera. I'm one of the pastors here in the Spanish ministry, The Way in Español. Well, today I wanted to emphasize and tell you that fasting renews your spiritual vision and strengthens your faith. What does that mean? That it develops your faith. It gives you a gratitude of God helping you to develop those areas that we need. When we're weak, He is strong. So let me start off by a testimonial. One of the testimonials fasting that God did back in 2019 was um, Frito-Lay. Why Frito-Lay? Because uh, Daly and I, my family, we used to actually do uh, evangelize in the streets in the city of San Bernardino. So all it started was what one phone call. We went to Frito-Lay. They gave us uh, distributions for pallets of chips. Everybody loves chips, obviously. I love chips myself. Well, let me tell you that there was a gentleman there. He looked at us and said, hey, listen, I know that you guys are evangelizing on the streets. Why don't you come to Tijuana, Mexico? Why Tijuana, Mexico? Because that's where I want you guys to go. So the dream and vision came because there was a day I had a dream and vision while I was fasting for five days. And let me tell you, between that dream and vision, God opens the windows to have a church in Tijuana, Mexico. I was like, okay, Lord, this has to be you. So this gentleman actually said, hey, I want you to come as a visiting in Tijuana, Mexico. So what we did, we took the invitation. So there goes Daly and I with a stranger. We have no clue who he, who he was. But we got in the car, so we went to TJ. He took us to one of his church. At the minute we went to his church, we started uh, doing missionaries. We gave out, you know, uh, backpacks, toys, all this great stuff. But God was already on the plan. God already had a vision. God already had a purpose. The purpose was actually one day to have the church open. But in that, in that case, God was already putting the people in lined up. That's when we met one of our pastors now in Tijuana, Mexico, which is Pastor Luis in Abigo. So let me tell you that out of that vision, out of that purpose, was because of the obedience of God. And through faith and fasting, we were able to emphasize and go out there and experience the love of Christ. Today, the Church of Tijuana, Mexico, all is started by one fasting. It started by a dream, by a vision that God had. But He had to send two people out there first to go out there and check out the land. And thanks to God, today, that vision, that dream was emphasized. Let me share with you today, this is a scripture I wanna to read to you today. And it starts in Matthew chapter six, verse seven and 13. Before that, I wanna emphasize the verse and let's go ahead with the reading. It says, when you pray, don't babble and on as the Gentiles do. They think their prayers are answer, rarely by repeating their words again and again. Don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us for our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. And don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from evil. You know, one of my favorite verses while I was reading was on verse eight. It says clearly, don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need, even before you ask them. You know, God knows before you even get on your knees and pray, or you start fasting, God knows your needs. God knows a specific the needs, just like what I talked about the testimonial. God, I had a dream and vision, but everything has to take place because I said, Lord, there's a day that there will be a campus in Tijuana, Mexico. But it started through a dream. It started by asking. Today, God says, look, whatever your special needs are, ask them. So one of the things that came to my mind is that how we should pray, three biblical things are. First, ask, and that shall be what? Given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall open unto you. For everyone that asks should what? Receive. So when you ask, seek and knock, God knows. We don't have to keep repeating ourselves, you know, Lord, I need this. Lord, I want this. Lord, is this. No, God knows our special needs. All God is saying today, I'm fasting for a purpose. 
because God knows what you need. And God rewards those that are patient when we need something. As of for 2024, let us start in prayers and fasting. The Lord knows exactly what we need. You need a vision, you need a purpose, you need somewhere to get to, guess what? You have it. Why do you have it? Because God backs it up. So we always want to be intentional, say, Lord, while I'm waiting patiently, you know what I need? I already ask, I already seek, and I already knock. Then God is going to fulfill those purpose. Everything starts by you first praying and asking God. And I leave this with you. Today, I pray that you learn something out of this. And you know, always remember, be consistent and be persistent in prayers and through fasting. God bless you. I love you. Have a wonderful day.